Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We're going to another cube draft. I just got a package from Kerwit. It was the most random package ever. And Kerwit also, my stomach was hurting, so Kerwit's like, I'm going to send you Pepto and Imodium. They'll be there within, within the hour. Uh, so if I have to get up and go get the door, that's why. But um, So in the package I got today, we have this. This is a gentle steam eye mask. I mean... Yeah, we'll probably definitely use this because that sounds wonderful. Um, and then we have this little package of goodies too. There's a... This is actually a sticker from an artist you can find on Instagram. His name is Michael Reeder. And a lot of his work looks very, very similar to this. And I've talked to Kurt about this a lot. And I'm like, I don't know if I like his art. I think I would like it more if I understood like, his format. Because a lot of it has like this like pill shaped top with the eyes and then the bottom is a more like obscure thing or a random thing, but it's like, it's all variations on that. And so I think his art's good. I just don't know if it's for, like, I don't know. A lot of it's not for me. Like a lot of it isn't because it's just too similar. And I feel like if I knew, if I understood the origin of his work, like why it is, why it looks the way it is or what he's trying to say, I would appreciate it a lot more. Um, and then we have this. This is just a sticker with a cat. It says super plastic. So, you know, that's a that's a thing. And uh, then we have... We have this sweet Japanese Tamiyo, actually, which is super awesome. This is a great ad, man. really appreciate this. I'm going to hold on to this guy. This lady. Yeah, that's super cool, man. Kerwood, this is awesome, dude. And then, last but not least, a Heatonist sticker, of which I actually have many due to my many purchases from Heatonist.com. They should sponsor the stream for sure. Kerwit, you are awesome, dude. Thank you so much for all of these random, random uh, accoutrements, these random gifts. And now what are we taking here? What are we taking here? Also, when I got up and moved around a little bit, my stomach was feeling a little bit better. So, we'll see. Kerwit, this is awesome, dude. Thank you, man. You are a solid... You like Rampaging Bale there? Sarkon? Maybe Remand? I feel like we just did a very Sarkon-centric deck yesterday. I do like Remand. I also like Seagate Oracle and Sylvan Caryat. I like Sylvan Caryat a lot. I don't know why this got moved. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. <sighs> I always watch it at night. Does it help you out more if watching on Twitch or YouTube? Uh, probably YouTube for sure, I think. Big Green Idiots. So yeah, let's try Sylvan Caryat. I feel like we haven't had a lot of luck with with green decks. So I'm going to take Sylvan Carry at it. I'm going to assume the Rampaging Bill off tables. That's going to be my obsession. My Not my obsession. My uh, my observation. My... What's the word I'm looking for? Prediction? Got Vivian Reed. Got Ulamog. So yeah, but the, so the problem with, with Immortal Sun is that there's so, there are so many Planeswalkers in this cube, but that shuts you off from Planeswalkers as well. So... I like Vivian Reed more than Ulamog, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I feel like Ulamog's kind of replacement, replaceable. Whereas, uh, Vivian Reed, definitely not, not so much. Arbor Elf. I'm, I'm game for an Arbor Elf. Maybe Court of Calling comes back. Guys, not gonna lie, half my messages in chat today are just so I can type on my sweet new keyboard. <laughs> I also doubt that it's half. It's probably higher than half. I'm gonna be honest with you. Oh, Elvish Myst Mystic. Elvish Mistaku. I'll take an Elvish Mistaku. Ba-do-do-do, 
I want to blow my nose for a second, guys. My nose is still, like, irritated. My whole body is falling apart this week. This week has been rough. I mean, I'm just going to auto-pick Thrag Tusk here. Hold on a second. Don't go anywhere. All right, we're back. Look, we didn't even time out there. I wish I wish there were more wireless mechanical keyboards. That's what I wish. There's not very many good options for wireless mechanical keyboards. And maybe that's unreasonable because the battery life would be short or whatever, but I like eliminating cords. I just picked up the Logitech MX3, which I've been looking forward to forever. I've been waiting for them to make an MX Master mouse um, that has a USB... C? Is that what it's called? USB-C? Or 3? USB-3? I don't know if it's 3 or C. I can't, I can't, I literally am drawing a blank on whether USB is numbers or letters. But anyway, so now I can just have one cable. Um, yeah, okay, so USB-C. And now I can just have one cable on my desk for USB-C things that charge rather than having a USB, a micro USB, and a USB-C. Josh, how new is the this is the G613? I feel like I periodically look for for wireless gaming keyboards. Oh, I think I, I think the one issue I saw with the G613 is that the keycaps are um what do you call it? They're they're just in what do you, what's what I'm looking for? Like they're decals, right? Like, so they can scratch off. That's like the one thing I would, that's the, yeah, they're stickers. That's literally the only flaw I saw, but I felt like that would bug me over time. But everything else looks sweet on this. And I would, I'm, can you replace the keys? Cause that would be sick. I do like a reclamation sage a lot. I'm going to take rec sage. And the Baylos came back just as predicted. Ulamog came back. I'm going to take Ulamog over Whisperwood because I just think it's a significantly better card. Because that was literally the one thing that bothered me. I saw a bunch of reviews when, like, I think Linus Tech Tips was even like, the only problem I have is that the, the keycaps are stickers and they could, over time, scratch off, right? So that's what I'd be trying to avoid because I feel like that would definitely happen to me. But are you you're enjoying it otherwise? I have a DOS Keyboard Pro right now. That's what I'm using. And I'm pretty sure it has blue switches. Wow, this pack is terrible. I guess Steel Leaf Champion is pretty good if we can play it on turn two. That's actually probably hard to deal with. Maybe Cultivator Windswept comes back? Probably not. I mean, Duplicate's also fine. Yeah, I'll just take Steel Leaf Champion. Yeah, my DOS keyword. Yeah, I got the DOS keyword with Cherry MX Blues, and I, I actually love them. Like, it's great, so you can... It's such a satisfying click. Clickety-clack. I just wish it was wireless. Obstinate Bayloth is the only relevant card in this pack? Jeez, that's brutal. 
We have no real way to splash anything. Both of these guys are untapping for us. Sylvan carry at it is something, I guess. I guess it's just Bayloth. I mean, there's actually quite a few decks in this cube that really want uh, that you really want life gain against. Wow. I wonder if Beast Whisper is actually that bad if you can get it on a, on a reasonable time frame. I also love Staff of an Inn, as you guys know. I'm going to try Beast Whisper. <coughs> Alternatively, I could have taken the Staff of an Inn, and I bet the Beastmaster tabled. The wire keeps it grounded. It keeps it from floating away from this plane. I just want to be able to lift my keyboard up and put it around and like clean the desk off and things like that, but I'm just not able to do that easily. I like that me and Badger Badger's like, hey, take Huntmaster, and I'm like, I'm going to take Bailoth, which is kind of similar. You're like, take Signet, I'm, I'm going to take Beastmaster. I think it's actually just Virtuous Gear Hulk. I'm always impressed when I play Virtuous Gear Hulk. Oh, Ronus and Hornet Queen? Hmm. I think we're more mid range than Ramp, and I also think we have a fine top end. I'm going to just take the Ronus, because Ronus is another card that I'm like, wow, this card's very good. Jade Light Ranger, also insane. It's your draft. I'm just living in it. I would like more two drops. And maybe a noble hierarch. I think I'm good if we can do that. Well, it's a green deck, so you're very rarely you're very rarely interacting. What did Foothills? We got Rampaging Bayloth. It's the only I guess there's both landfalls. Or Utopia Sprawl, which is just another way to cast, like, Steel Leafer. I'm going to take the Utopia Sprawl. Oh, wow. Now we're talking. Master or Nullhide Phyrex? I think Nullhide Phyrex is sweet, but I, I think Master of the Wild Hunt can just win games. It shouldn't. You, like... It's just you have no... Uh, you have no business winning certain games with Master of the Wild Hunt because it just... It's just repeatable removal that just kills all their, all their creatures against certain decks. Well, none of the cards we wanted came back. That is unfortunate. I'll just take Timely, I guess. Kessig Wolf Run, maybe? Figure of Destiny? <laughs> that had to be a random thing, right? Take Figure of Destiny. I can never even pump that, dude. Spell Skite seems fine. Not impressive, but fine. We still have another pack. Actually, I don't feel bad about this deck because we still have another pack. What are you gonna do? Face Fetter seems good. If we're able to splash white somehow. Oh man, I love a Bloodbraid Elf. I like a Knight of Autumn too, but we already have Rex Sage. Now I'm taking Bloodbraid Elf. Sublime Archangel. Alright, these are all good. We have a sweet little Naya sideboard if we ever find some lands for it. Shut up and take my money. What? Hot dog sandwich. Hey, all hot dog sandwich here. Just stopping by the draft to say get a Boros Reckoner. 
That doesn't sound like hot dog sandwich at all. Uh, I don't think Dark Confidant is that great in this cube because a lot of things you want to do in the black sphere are more expensive. Like, there's no like black aggro deck. If there was like a bunch of like one and two black mana aggressive creatures like Suicide Black deck or something, I could understand. But oh, Primeval Titan, yeah, that's nice. Speak of landfall, Tristani. I'm not going out of white. I'm not going out of green right now if I don't have to. <laughs> This Nissa has been a thorn in my side in this cube. Just making five fives every turn. The other Nissa is even worse. Both of these Nissas are actually pretty powerful, but obviously the other Nissa is head and shoulders. Might just be acidic slime here. Willemog seems greedy here. With Primeval Titan, Overgrown Sylvan, three of these guys. Really? Interesting. Interesting. Garrick Wildspeaker. Yep, that's a dude. That is a dude. This seems like a this is a great green deck. I'm gonna take Eternal Witness. I feel like if we were bad before on ramp, Garrick just kind of puts us over the map, with, especially with Utopia Sprawl. No, I can see why you'd say that. Like, it makes sense. Like, we don't have a ton of ramp, but I think we have enough to survive until, like, we cast an Ulamog, you know? Terastodon and Harmonize. We already have Beast Whisperer. We have Vivian Reed. We have a good, we have a good couple of cards that can provide some card advantage. I think we just want a Terastodon. I don't know if we're going to play a Terastodon. Aleshnorn. I think Badger's just naming his favorite cards in the pack. He's like, I like Aleshnorn in this pack. And that's fine. Moldiah. Now we have to make cuts. Oh, Bailoff can go to the sideboard for sure. That's fine. Badger's gonna badge. Ain't that the truth? Rampant Growth is fine. Do we need it? Probably not. Wolf Silver Silverheart's... I'm going to take the, the Carnage Tyrant for the side bizzle. I'll take this Trustani. Uh, I'll take this Ajani. I'll take Trustani. Now I'll take Ajani. And then Nissa came back. All right. What are you gonna do? Ba -do, 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 -ba -do, 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 do Genesis Hydra, sure. We can take that one needle spire. Ooh, scavenging use is nice. <laughs> JT, did you leave and then come back? Because it's kind of funny if you're like kind of doing an introduction right now when like you've been here the whole time. Badge badge. We have one cut. I think it's just Terastodon. <coughs> I'm a pretty big fan of everything else in our deck. Our deck looks pretty solid. And we're going to add 17 of these. None of these. Done. Easy peasy. We could lose. I actually haven't had a ton of luck with the green deck, interestingly enough. But we'll see. It does look like you buy replacement keycaps for the Jesus, but none of them are Logitech official. Um, I don't think that bothers me too much. 
this is actually fine even with only one. if we hit any land we get to play this guy if we don't we can play carry added that seems good oh god stomach's rumbling all right land it's no good no boy no I mean, it's like it's like we still we're still one mana ahead, ironically. Master of the Wild Hunt. Let's see if this guy survives. I'm gonna make a zombo. Oh well, that guy's coming back for sure. Actually, how much reanimation is in this cube? I don't think there was a ton. Okay. All right. Land. Really? <clears throat> uh, graveyard. And graveyard. Literally no lands. Okay. 12 cards, one forest. Seems right. Yep, that's what I figured you'd do. Pretty, 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 pretty good. Oh, look, now we found a forest. How nice. Acidic slime. Wow. Yep, that's amazing. What have I thought about Throne of the Card so far? You can find my thoughts in my Cool Stuff Inc. article that I posted this week. It just went up yesterday. They're doing quite well. Progress, thank you for the bits, buddy. Really appreciate it. Finally get to catch you live. I am glad to hear it. Four, five, six, seven. We can play Avenger. Avenger. You're going to play Avenger. Shut up and take my money. Oh, okay. Four thirty green bucks, but there's only four twenty. What's happening right now? I'm very confused. Oh, but it's a bonus. Okay, okay. It makes sense because it's green. Well, it's gonna flip, right? Yep. Two nisses. Oh, good. Three nisses. The green deck that gets stuck on... It's the green deck that gets stuck on land. No attacks? What's even happening right now? Well, that's pretty terrible. So 
So we could eternal one, two, three, four, five. We still have seven mana. We can eternal witness. What are you gonna do? Let's or let's oracle. Maybe we can just hit two in a row. That'd be sick, right? Or we can hit zero in a row. That is also an option. Yep, we hit zero in a row. All right. Seems good. And by good, I mean bad. What are you going to do? Do I want to overrun? <laughs> oh, that was brutal. Oh, God. Sometimes you just want to die. I'm just going to play this overrun. 19 creatures. Let's do it. Hey, I'm going to keep this because it's got lands. Worm is going to give it to you. This is what I mean. For some reason, like, the green decks in this queue are just not... I think it's because there's no, like, Gaius Criddle. There's no Rafelos. Do we want to play this and have one, two, three, four, potentially five mana next turn? Probably. I think we have enough five drops where the... The extra one... The extra one mana is relevant. Sure. Okay, well it wasn't. Turns out it wasn't relevant at all. Okie dokie. What are you gonna do? <clears throat> well, I guess at least you're drawing a forest. Hey, look at that guy. Uh, no attacks. Because I would lose. What are you gonna do? Vampire Hex Mage? Fascinating. I feel like this can't be really uh, attributed to to the deck, right? Like drawing seven lands and two ramp cards and only two actual spells. That doesn't feel like it's a a deck specific thing. That feels just like it's a shuffler specific thing, right? Tell me I'm crazy. Tell me I'm not crazy. I guess. <clears throat> what are you gonna do? <laughs> Well, at least we have 10 now for uh, Moolamog, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, 11 because of this. Yeah, that's good. 
That's really good. Let's just uh so you're gonna draw Nissa. Thank you. Tigernate, thank you so much for three somebody. Really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Can a dude get in Ulamog? The answer is no, he can't. F Nissa 6. I got the 6 in there, too. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yep. Alright, so you're going to draw a swamp now. I have no idea what's in your hand, I'll be honest with you. Yep. Wow, that's amazing. Now you get to play Nissa and play Solemn. And hit your 7th land to flip that. That's really good. <coughs> so now you have pulse in hand. And now you have confluence. And growth on top. Sure. Woolmog. Completely similar. Uh, attacking with Finx doesn't do anything because then they just block with 2-4 or 5-4. So we're literally just throwing it out. We're in I'd much rather have an opportunity to either trade or force them to... To just take more damage. The 2 life that we just gained from that... that from that exchange just isn't great. Sure. Oh good, Nissa who shakes the world. That's what I want to see. Bet there's a land underneath that so you can get a free land. Yep, never fails. Bet you'll play that land. Hornet Queen, huh? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, so you can actually crack the clue, play Hornet Queen. Probably dead here. Didn't even have to crack the clue. Jesus, the, the value here is just, uh, it's pretty unbelievable. Maybe Overrun wins us the game? I don't, I don't know. What is it, 6, 7, 8, 9, 14, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 26 damage. So they have to block 11 of it. 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17. Nope, nope, not, that would not do it. <clears throat> well, they have 15 cards, we have 27, so they've drawn 12 more cards than us. Ronus. Just gonna play the land here. Oh, find finality seems very, very good. Very, very good. 
You get to keep this guy. I get to keep these two. Actually, maybe it's not that great. I don't know. It's dope time? Wow, that sounds crazy. <clears throat> Just bees, huh? Just bees. I feel like they're gonna finality here. Which is interesting because we get to keep two dudes. Oh, it's do it's in like the drugs you ordered me, which are Pepto Bismol and Imodium for my stomach. Yeah, they're definitely clearing the board here. I think. <clears throat> I literally have no idea. This seems... Oh, hold on, let me go grab that. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, I got a I got a package here, guys. I think they're dead. <laughs> like, we have two five fives. Okay. Oh, they have eight mana. Never mind. They're not dead. If it was just going to our turn, I'd be like, I think they're dead. But it's okay, guys. They have eight mana. Wow, look at this. Kerwitz, the hero we need, man. I got Pepto. I got some Imodium, dude. Unbelievable. Kurt, you're my hero, dude. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> it's actually incredible. Oh, Magic Online just kind of looks at me and is like, here, I got this card for you, stupid fucking idiot. And then I'm like, oh, thanks a lot, Magic Online. <laughs> Remember last turn when you had all that mana? <laughs> we do, you stupid idiot. <laughs> oh, this Pepto has Ultra Coat. Alright, what's the... Uh, how does this work? Let's find out. Directions, shake it up. Take one dose every half hour or two doses every hour. Oh, man up. That's aggressive. Man up. Jeez. Remember that time we were like, oh, yes, we can cast an Ulamog if we draw it. And they're like, no, I'm just going to kill all your stuff. And then you'll draw the Ulamog. Remember that time, the other time we played the green deck where they're like, oh, a Hornet Queen really save us here. And then the next card before we died was a corner after we died was a Hornet Queen. Okay, so one dose, 30 mils, or is it 15 mils? 15 mils is one dose. 30 mils is two doses. All right. I don't fuck around with medicine, guys. I don't chug medicine. People are like, you should just chug it. And I'm like, nah, man. That ain't me. I'm like, I measure this shit out. I make sure I get the right dose. All right. Bottoms up. Tastes like a Neko wafer. That's yeah, not terrible. I expected worse, and I think like when you expect worse, like it, it it mentally messes you up. You're like, oh god, it's gonna be terrible. But then you try it, and you're like, oh, it's really not that bad. But then it's like hard to get all like there's a lot left in here. And I'm like, was it really one dose if I just took some of it? 
I don't know. It's really not that bad. Kerwit, thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate you. Woo! Pepto down. Land. Yes. Let's play Beast Whisper here for the first time ever. Kerwit, I will try to feel better, buddy. And uh, you have aided in that in that quest. My quest to feel better. Uh, no blocks. If they have, like, disfigure, I don't want to, like, get wrecked or something. Over-the-counter meds have to be safe enough to allow the dumbest people in America to use them unsupervised. That's a good point. I've never considered that before. Oh, they just took two? They didn't. Huh. Never-ending story. What could they have here? I mean, I'm planning on them. Like, I, I feel like it's Braska's Contempt or Gifts Ungiven? Factor Fiction? Oh, just Electrolyze for... Electrolyze our face for two? That's weird. Uh, Tim, I actually don't know. Like, for the past two days, I've had, like, spoiler alert, intermittent diarrhea. And it's been really rough. Not like, it's not, like, super painful. It's more obnoxious than anything. My stomach will be like, oh, it's a little irritated. And then it's just like, no bueno. Uh, each opponent exiles a card for five. I mean, we're just going to wreck this guy, right? We're going to wreck it. I guess not. They can block here and then. <laughs> I got the poopies, as they say. Yeah, it's true. I mean, they have to actually block Thrag Tusk and lose this, so it's actually not a terrible trade for us. Attack Nickel Brolis with all my dudes. Yep. I mean, we're still eating a card, which is basically the same as you eating a card. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's an easy one to get rid of next turn. This is where they go damnation with uh, Nickel Bolas on board. I only poop once every three days. Wow, that's impressive. Around that time, I was like, this is why they go damnation with Nicobolus on board. Blah, 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 blah. Where is your nickel bolus now? It's in the garbage can. <laughs> Dude, when we were talking about poop, I was literally like, oh shit, this is like Friends episode all over again. Where did he go? He disappeared. Alright, well, I guess we'll just kill the Nahiri now as well. Uh, 
I'm gonna play this guy and then little Arby's elf. Hey, he comes from Arby's. This is so dumb. I'm not having a good time. I was. To a point. I'm gonna bottom that. I'm gonna keep that, I guess. I don't even know, dude. This Rex Age doesn't actually seem main deckable in this cube. <clears throat> That's incredible. You just kill this. I don't know what you're doing. Oh, you're just drawing a card? Fascinating. <clears throat> Do we have Overrun in the main deck or in the sideboard? I think we just play Overrun. Land. Oh, it's Acidic Slime. I knew that. We knew that it was going to be that. Do we get rid of their single blue source? Or do we get rid of like a shambling vent, which is a much more valuable land? I think it's the shambling vent. As it turns out, I discovered how to get Publix delivered to your house. Apparently you did. It's even in a public's bag. Also, this is a single red source as well, which is not worth nothing. Oh, I'm surprised they didn't trade at the end of the turn. Oh well. Look, they got an island anyway, so it didn't even, uh, it didn't even matter. They have five cards in hand. Look at all this effort we're spending on Soren. It's really bad. Maybe we should just be going face here. Yep. Okay. Well, that's the end. I don't even know why you do that. What are you even going to bounce? Like, just block. It's a wolf. Okay. <clears throat> Wilmok seems so good if you hit, though. What are we taking out? Taking out Rex Sage. Bringing in Overrun. Carnage Tyrant does seem good. I agree with that. In before we never see a third land. Oh, in my face. Oh, what up, Timothy?
That's sad. Not great, Bob. Okay, they didn't do anything. We're just gonna get this guy back with Eternal Witness, so we have something to do. Chew Lane. Did you also know that it be National Talk Like a Pirate Day or be ye a dirty landlubber? How dare you talk to me like that? That's great. So now they can just cast this next turn and get their lightning bolt back. This is like amazing. Like this is like everything that can go wrong has. It's pretty incredible to be quite honest. Of course we miss our fifth land so we can't acidic slime. But um I, <sighs> so I, just, I don't know the like the green decks are just missing something. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's maybe it's the the green decks I'm drafting, but I feel like we got literally everything we wanted. I don't know. Yep. Let me guess. Get back lightning bolt. Yep. To the surprise of no one. Well, better use it or lose it, my dude. Goodbye, acidic slime. Sure. With a little luck and some lightning bolts. Do, 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 Look at this combo. Standard All Stars over here. Fencer Myronis. Resto, your hostage taker. Oh, God, this is getting annoying. Yeah, like none of the mono green decks I've drafted have done very well, and that's fine. I mean it's just a it's just an archetype that needs a lot of work, like <laughs> sure. We had a land we can go Bailoth into land, which is pretty nice. That's weird. With a little love. So this guy can't. So one, two, three, four. Like, like you can triple block. I think that's actually fine if you want to like triple block Carnage Tyrant. Like all that's fine with me. Yeah, didn't I didn't think you'd want to do that.
That's interesting. And we're just going to die to Resto here. All these guys have trample. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is seven, this is 13, so four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, send them all in the red zone, I guess. You can make me discard a card, that's totally fine. Oh, they just block with this, this flips, then they can return this to get this. Uh, no, they can't, because this is gonna be three, so. Maybe one day they could. Maybe someday we'll meet again. There are two roads at the same dead end. Oh. Well, we need two more lands for Utamog. This is only seven mana. Oh, wait, eight, nine. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, we'll just kill the, the land here. Because I don't want you getting back Hostage Taker yet. They got a one here? That's weird. So far this game, they've played our Eternal Witness, they've played our Ronus, and they've stolen our Master of the Wild Hunt. All things that are pretty obnoxious. I'm pretty sure we're actually dead here. Um, block you, block you, we take three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Yep, fuck my life. Cool. This has been fun. We haven't won a fucking game yet. <laughs> like this is, deck is actual trash. I don't even like. It's so funny because like this is a, this is. Uh, biscuits. Hold on. Just trying to figure out where the. Well, that's not correct at all. So why did it blank that? Yeah, like I'm trying to like, god damn it, <laughs> I'm trying to line this, there we go, okay, I gotta grab that guy, and that's fine, okay, good. <clears throat> Get rid of Rex Sage, just put Overrun in. I don't even know, man. I mean, to be fair, the first match we played, we had Find Finality. The second match had Damnation. So, like, we're trying to go wide, and they're just killing all our creatures, so. Not, gr not great, Bob. Not great, Bob. Wreck is still in there? Oh, God. Oh god. It's fine. It doesn't matter. It's not going to affect our record, guys. We're not going to just start winning all of a sudden because we... They're not going to start losing... Oh yeah, this... see this is it. This is the hand we want. So they can journey to nowhere this guy on turn three. one of those drafts guys just one of those drafts on the bright side this has gone quite quickly oh boy 
Having a good time, having a good time. Do -do 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 -do. It's Astro Vision, huh? Well, joke's on you. Alistair Kane, what's up, my dude? Good seeing you, Adam. Always a pleasure. Settle the wreckage. Settle the wreckage. Settle that wreckage. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Mana leak. Oh, it just resolves, so you can Wrath of God us. I have a feeling they're taking these guys. Oh. Land, land, Gideon. Fascinating. Not what I would. I was. I was worried about giving you this guy because then you just. <laughs> Solid. I have no idea what that laugh track is from. I just downloaded a laugh track and here we are. You're getting rid of the guy that when I wreck Sage, I get more counters on. That's interesting. Gideon gone. Okay, well. Having a good time, having a good time. Skid do 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 do. It's funny that that Rex. It's not like we're just gonna win games because Rex ages. We left it in here. Um. Uh, well, you see, uh, in fact, oh, uh, that's not actually. All right, well, draw your three. Here we go. Or target me. Oh, Snapcaster Wrath of God. Solid, dude. Fucking solid. Solid gone, bro. Absolutely tremendous. This may sound super specific. It does. It sounds super specific. I'm just going to bail off here. Actually, no, we don't have mana. I was like, well, actually, we could play Avenger? No, I'm like, we don't have the mana for that. Oh, Baneslayer Angel. When I was down, I was a clown. Ooh, ooh. This is my landfall. Oh, you're just going to counter it. That's nice. That's really nice. I like that you did that. I'm a big fan. Let's put Baneslayer in the front magic online. Alistair Kane does get the pre list thing because I'm going to Logan, Utah. To the Game Grid Logan. My good friend Guardian Links invited me. And uh, we're going to do some pre releases. And it's going to be a good time. But in fact, but in fact, Frank did not like that.
Having a good time. Where's this gonna go? Bottom? Graveyard? Trash can? I'll put this on top because we're just gonna draw a card from it anyway. I am jealous, but also keeping with Ben and JTHT. I'm really jealous of that. You guys are gonna be having a good time. I'll trade a beast for a Brimaz. Are they gonna vent her? Wow, they're gonna vent her. They're gonna resto the Brimaz, so they just gotta. Alright. Whatever. You should stop by the queue this weekend. Yeah, I'll just swing by. When are you going to Logan? I'm going to Logan next weekend for the pre release. Four. So what is this? Five, eleven, twenty. Yeah, this is. I mean, I would have just alpha here if I were them, but. Then we're taking five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13, 13, 13, 16, 17. Yeah, like, I don't know. I guess it doesn't matter. What is this, five? This is nine, so I guess we survive by the skin of our teeth. Oh, boy. None of our attacks are even great here. It's really frustrating. What would you say your favorite magic card is? Um, It's probably Cryptic Command, to be quite honest. Um, Actually, teeth don't have skin. Common mis Is that a common misconception? I don't even know what they did there. Oh, Deck and Stone. I get a little bitty clue, and then I get to concede the game. So yeah, we're having a real good time against these decks. Oh, God. Oh, shut up. You're a common misconception. Got him. Wow, that's rude. That's rude and hurtful. Well, they can't tithe me this time. Did they miss a land drop? Did they miss multiple land drops? Oh. Well then. Get in there, I guess. Do your worst. They have missed two land drops thus far. See how you like it, 
Scummy McGee's. Now there's going to be two lands on the top. I can guarantee it. Guarantee. I didn't want to slam the land because we saw Mana Tithe. So. Like, they Mana Tithe this game one. And it was pretty. Pretty busted. They're going to just kill this guy? Wow, that's greedy. Because there's going to be two lands under this character. Everybody knows that. See? There's one. And Battlement. Okay. Get him. Having a good time. Having a good time. You guys know that uh, that Queen song? I mean, don't get confused. This isn't a music video. This is a Magic the Gathering online video. It's a trading card game. We're playing games. It's a gaming video, YouTube. So if, you're, if your audio algorithm is listening, this is not a singing video. I just happen to sing while I'm playing magicthegathering.com. Dot deck. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't know where we're drawing. Overgrown Battlement. Sure. Kill you, I guess. I'm gonna take this Ulamog out. It just literally keeps on being too slow. I keep having Ulamog in my hand and feeling terrible about my life choices. Get tithed on. Didn't get tithed on. Get tithed on now. He was just remanded to my hand. Sure. Hey, we're doing pretty okay. I'll Wrath of God. It's my... Oh, they didn't Wrath of God. It's my favorite spell. Uh, I really don't want them to, like, jam a nimble obstructionist or something and block our Master of the Wild Hunt, so I'm not going to do anything crazy here. This guy's indestructible, so we're just going to drop him in case they Wrath, and we can play Thrag Tusk and do the thing. Let's play this guy. Oh wow, they're just taking ten or nine. Are we winning this match? Are we finally winning a match? What is even happening right now? Okay. I mean, I get a Kitchen Fink and a Rona still? Oh my god! <laughs> One, two with the mono green deck. Woo! Who had any idea such a feat was possible? I'm glad you guys were on this roller coaster ride with me, and I really appreciate you guys. You guys are great. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time. You're all wonderful. 
Check me out on CoolStuffInc.com. New articles every Wednesday. Manatraders.com. We have a great deal. You can check it out in the link. Links in the description. Links and the promo code are in the description below. And uh, feel free to check me out on Patreon.com slash Frank Lepore if you want to check out, if you want to support the channel. You can also do the same thing at Twitch.tv slash Frank Lepore. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>